commits. I'm currently in my models.py file. As you can see, there are three tables, listings, bids, and comments with various fields for both. I will not bore you with the details. Um, let's first, uh, let's go to list an item. Let me list a new item. Um, let's list a face mask. I can choose category, um, probably other. And uh, this is made using Django Forms, so uh, validation, automatic validation on the client side is in place. I also have server-side validation, um, but I won't demonstrate that. I don't want to waste your time. Starting bid, let me show you if I try and put 000, uh, the minimum is 0 0.01, must be higher than that. So let's, let's go with uh, 0.11 for the starting bid. And uh, you don't have to add an image URL, but I will do this for this listing. As soon as you post it, you're redirected to the listing page. And I will come back to this later. Let me first show you all of the active listings. So for each listing, we have a photo, if there is one. We have uh, the title of the listing, the category, the description, the current price, uh, if there are any current bids, if there are no current bids, then we are showing the starting bid. And let me take you to a listing now. Let's go look at this car. So on the uh, on the listings page, uh, we have the ability to add this item to our watch list. It's currently in my watch list, so let me unwatch this. And as you can see, we. Um, we have the number of people who are currently watching this item. If I click watch, then it's back in my watch list and there's one person currently watching this item, which is me. Currently signed in, so we have the ability to bid. Um, the, the bid must be higher than the current bid, so if I uh, try to do that, you can see we get an error message. Let me add a new bid, so let's go $3.00. Bid. As you can see, the current bid is now updated to $3. So our bid uh, has been accepted. It's in the bids table. And okay, let me show you the comments. Let me add a new comment. Um, lovely. Oops. So we've got the comments down here. If I click submit, you can see my lovely comment. It's now added to the comments list. Uh, let me show you an item uh, that I have listed. So let's go to this um, football. Let's go to football. I have the ability to end this auction because it is my auction. If I click end auction, the auction is now closed and the winner of the auction is displayed here. Um, let me show you what happens when you are the winner of the auction. So let me sign in with another account that I just won that auction with. So that was the football. As you can see, I'm now signed in with the account that won the auction, so I get this message, you are the winner, your winning bid is $1. Okay, and let me show you the watchlist page quickly. On the watchlist page, we have a, a list of all the items we are currently watching, the ability to unwatch them from the watchlist. So let me go ahead and watch another listing go back, you can see that listing is now added to my watch list. And uh, finally, well not finally, penultimately, categories page, we have a list of all the categories. If I click on the category, uh, we are taken uh, to all of the listings that are for that category. Finally, Let's go to the admin interface. 
Whoops, I'm not signed in with a super user. Let me go ahead and sign in with a super user. So now I have access to all of the bids, all of the comments. I can delete a comment if I deem it to be inappropriate. Let me delete that selected comment. And now the comment is deleted. And I have access to listings too. If I want to edit the listing, say I want to change the starting bid, I can do that.